Guyana has 8.5 gigawatts of hydropower potential from 33 hydropower plants. This has been stated in government's Low Carbon Development Strategy 2030. From this lot, the 165 megawatt Amila Falls hydropower plant will be built as it has been identified as the best option to begin Guyana's energy transition. Government will also seek to build a second large-scale plant to be identified by 2025. It should provide 370 megawatts of capacity by 2035 and another 150 megawatts by 2040. The PPPC government is positioning hydropower to serve as the most significant renewable contributor to Guyana's clean energy transition. Hydro is uniquely positioned to provide a cheaper solution than any other technology due to its long average lifespan of 100 years. It is projected that 67% of Guyana's capacity will come from renewable sources by 2035. His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali promised a diverse energy mix with cleaner energy at a globally competitive cost, reducing the cost of living and making Guyana a more attractive investment destination. Natural gas will power Guyana's economic revolution in the short to medium term, while investments into renewable sources build traction. Over the medium to long term period, hydropower and other renewable energy options solar, wind, and biomass will take over. The world has come to the realization because the pace of renewable is not keeping pace with the, the demand, the, that the introduction of renewable is not keeping pace with the growth of energy demand, that you need a transitional fuel, which is the gas, using gas to generate power, because gas um, is reduces the emission by 50% from burning, say, bunkers. Government expects the gas-to-energy project to last about 25 years. 